The G20 or the Group of 20 is the premier forum for international economic cooperation. This forum comprises of 19 countries and the European Union. It plays an important role in shaping and strengthening global architecture and governance on all major international economic issues. In fact, it accounts for around 80% of gross world product, 75% of international trade, 66% of the global population, and 60% of the world's land area. Further, India holds the presidency of the G20 for 2022-23. G20 as a forum has always received a huge coverage and is well known all around the globe. But there is unique perspective towards the G20 logo. Each and every host has tried to show the culture and uniqueness of their country through the logos. Today, we are going to talk about how close G20 logos have been to their country's culture. Although founded in 1999, there was no clear president of the G20 till 2010, nor an established tenure for the presidency. Hence, no logos were displayed. During this period, only three summits were hosted, two in the United States of America and one in the United Kingdom. The first logo was unveiled in 2010 when the G20 summit was hosted in Canada in November 2010. The logo was iconic CN Tower stylized with maple leaf and G20 Toronto written. During July to November 2010, South Korea was given the presidency of the G20. Wait, how can the G20 summit be held at two different places at the same time? Let me answer that for you. After the 2008 debut summit in Washington DC, G20 leaders met twice a year in London and Pittsburgh in 2009 and in Toronto and Seoul in 2010. Since 2011, when France shared and hosted the G20, the summits have been held only once a year. The logo for G20 Seoul summit incorporated two images, the sun rising over the sea and a traditional Korean lantern. During 2010-11, G20 summit was held under the presidency of France and it was the first year-long tenure at the G20. The one and the only thing that comes to our mind when we speak of France is the iconic Eiffel Tower. And that's what the logo of 2011 G20 summit incorporated. Mexico was given the presidency of G20 for 2011-12. The most popular tourist destination in Mexico are the Aztec Pyramids. And it is not very difficult to guess that the Aztec Pyramid was incorporated in G20 logo. Another clever design in the logo was using the 20 of G20 to write the year of summit, that is 2012. The presidency of G20 was handed over to Russia for 2012-13. This was the first time that the host country had not used any prominent icon of their country in the summit logo. Since the theme of the summit was B20 G20 partnership for the growth and jobs, the logo resembled a wallet or a drowning tugboat, you decide. During 2013-14, Australia was the president of G20 and the logo represented the Australian outback with origami snakes making the shape of G20. The G20 logo under Turkish presidency during 14-15 incorporated the traditional Turkish art and motifs like Ibru. During 15-16, China was the president of G20 and the Chinese G20 logo was simple yet so intricate one. The logo for the 2016 G20 summit incorporated a stylized bridge consisting of 20 layered lines symbolizing the 20 members of the group, the pattern of G20 China and a seal with the characters in traditional Chinese font. For 2016-17, G20 was under Germany's presidency. The logo, that is the reef knot which symbolizes interconnectedness. The logo stands for the interconnectedness of the various issues. The next G20 summit was held under Argentina's presidency between 17-18. The theme of the summit was building consensus for fair and sustainable development. The same thing gets reflected in the logo too. Although minimalistic, the zero of the G20 was stylized with dots of different shades of color representing the fair opportunities given to each and every country and individual for sustainable development. By the way, these colors also represent the lithium element and its processing which is found in abundance in the lithium triangle in South America. Japan. The next host of G20 summit between 2018-19 have used the opportunity to show their culture through logo. The Japan's G20 logo shows the iconic Mount Fuji along with the cherry blossoms which are the Japan's unofficial national flower and the thing the Japan is known for, the land of rising sun. This is why Japan is called Nippon in Japanese which literally translates to the sun's origin. Saudi Arabia was the host during 2019-20. Due to pandemic, the summit was held virtually. The G20 logo was inspired by the color filaments of Bidouin fabrics made up of sadu yarn, featuring the colors of participating countries. During 2020-21, the G20 was hosted under Italy's presidency. The logo of the Italian G20 presidency was born from a reflection on Leonardo da Vinci's famous drawing, Vitruvian Man. The logo featured the two primary geometric figures that contain the human figure in Leonardo's work. 
Indonesia hosted G20 during 2021-22. The logo was very close to Indonesian culture with red and white color base and the design that combines the silhouette of Gunungan that represents the huge impact of Hinduism in their culture and the kavung batik motif that is indigenous to Indonesia. Finally, the current host India was given the presidency for the period 2022-23. The G20 logo draws inspiration from the vibrant colors of the India's national flag, saffron, white, green, and blue. It seamlessly blends the planet Earth with the lotus, that is India's national flower, that reflects growth amid challenges. The Earth reflects India's pro-planet approach to life, one in perfect harmony with nature. In conclusion, the G20 logo has always been a tool to showcase the host country's culture to the whole of the world. From the complex logo of China to intricate logo of Japan to yet simple but powerful logo of Indonesia to totally haywire that of Russia, G20 logos have been a whole culture in themselves. Which G20 logo was the best in your opinion? This is all for today's episode. I hope that you have liked it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more of such videos. See you in the next episode. Till then, take care.